G'day guys, Elfie here. This is part one of two tutorials I'm hoping to have out in the next couple of days um, based on pretty much reverse processes. So this, this first tutorial is going to show you how to get something you create in a 3D design program and export to STL into Minecraft Education Edition. Um, and the second tutorial is going to show you how to get something you create in Minecraft out and into an STL for 3D printing. So this is something I've prepared earlier. Um, this is a model I created in a software package called 123D Design. I then exported that as an STL and brought it into Tinkercad. And now in Tinkercad, what you can do is convert it to blocks. So if we do that, it'll take its time. I want the ground gone and I want it much bigger than that. So I've done a bit of messing around here. Um, this is actually the basis for a map I'm in the process of planning and creating. And it's going to take a little bit of time to place all those blocks. So we'll come back once that's done. And there we are. So now I have this as Minecraft blocks. And what I can do is I can export that as a schematic file, which can be used in a new version of MC Edit, link will be in the description below, um, that Wizard Keen, the wizard, uh, pointed out a couple of weeks back. And that allows us to actually play around in, why didn't that work? Play around in Minecraft Education Edition worlds a little bit. Oh, it's did. Well, there, I <laughs> downloaded it straight away. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to what's going on on the screen. So you can see, again, I've done this before. So I have that schematic already saved on my computer, and now I have more than one. So if we show that in a folder, that's in downloads. Okay. So now that I have that downloaded, I can open up this version of MC Edit, which is opening on the other screen. Right. And we can load in a Minecraft world. So if I go open, um, can I do it this way? Do, 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 do. Does it do links? Yes, it does. I want you, worlds. What's a, well, let's just open one and see what it does. So this will open up a um, Minecraft Education Edition world. And now what we can do is we can bring in, so we can import that file we just downloaded, which was epic. Where is it? Am I blind? Epic Alibar. There it is. Open that. And you can see that I actually have that creation can now be put into Minecraft. Now there are a whole heap of tricks around that that um, Adam goes through in his tutorial which I will make sure to link in the description as well. Um, but that's how you can get um, those uh, structures created externally into um, Minecraft Education Edition. So 20 minutes later <laughs> I've worked out how to make this happen. So what you've got to do is you do actually have to, and Adam um, had the create subchunks filter in his MC edit. So what I did to get this to work. So once you import your model make sure you hit filter and now we save that And it's happy with that, so we quit MC Edit and we go back into Minecraft. And now, when we go into this world, in theory, our imported STL structure will be here. As you can see, it is. Now, 
there were a couple of mistakes I made <laughs> and it's much easier to do this in a void world and there's a lot of work in MC Edit that I don't know how to do so in case you can't tell I'm making that bit up as I go along um, but the the filtering and creating those sub chunks is important um, for getting this to happen um, and like I say I put this I built this in a size and structure for putting into a void world for a map that I want to create so you can see that the structure is now in here and we can now use that as the basis for our building so I hope that helps to give you an idea this is where I got the filter from um, I downloaded all of these MC Edit Bedrock Edition filters which from memory you have to do from here to download and then I just put those Bedrock Edition filters into So you'll see NBT edit filter bedrock fix create subchunks and map. If we go into here, NB edit map da 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 bedrock fix create subchunks filters are there. So I grabbed again from Gentle Giant JGC, download his filters, grab the bedrock edition filters and put them in the MC edit filters folder. And then once you import your model, filter to create those subchunks. So I'll show you that in MC Edit again. Import, uh, download the whole thing there. Import, it'll bring it all in. And this may or may not work given the chunks haven't been created in game. Um, but while that's still selected, if you then click on filter, you can find the filter. Um, create subchunks, I just saw it, create subchunks, then hit filter, and it's happy with that, so I can now hit escape, so you do have to have it in created chunks, and then you need to create the subchunks after it, um, Adam said something about the chunks don't get generated from the bottom of the world to the top of the world, whereas that subchunks does create that from top to the bottom. I hope that makes sense. Um, I hope I can edit this to make some relatively sensible form. Um, next tutorial I will show you how to take something you have built in Minecraft and export it to a 3D printable file. Thanks for watching. See ya!